Hello this is part 4 of the Let's Make a Visual Novel series. We are continuing this from part 3 of the series. You can find the link to the playlist in the description. Ok you can see the images which I am using. Now in the previous videos I have told that the characters I am using are generated using stable diffusion and image to image. So if you want to know how to do that refer to the description also. I recommend using the Mage Space tool for backgrounds and automatic 111 stable diffusion web UI for characters. Ok so without further ado let's start. Today I am going to cover two special effects in Rain PY scripting. Namely Shake and Blur. So we will start with Shake first. Let's refer to the Rain PY documentation. Ok so C as shaking is defined by transitions as V punch and H punch as shown here. I will show V punch first which shakes the screen vertically then I will show H punch which shakes the screen horizontally. Ok now let's whip up Visual Studio code. We have the script from the last video let's continue with it. So V punch is a transition, hence we will replace this dissolve. And now let's test it. There we go it works great. Now let's replace V punch with H punch. Fairly simple. Ok so we can see both the shape transitions work pretty well. So typically you would want to use this when your character is angry or surprised. Otherwise a typical dissolve works just as well. You can V punch and H punch even with scene transitions. Ok now let's try blur. As it is a transform let's utilize what we learned last time. And create a separate reusable transform at the top to call every time. And let's add a linear interpolation so that the blur is gradual. Ok now let's test it. There you go it works pretty well. Ok so we have understood how to use the shake and blur effects. So I will quickly add some lines of code to demonstrate the overall effect. And now let's try testing it. There you go. The blur and unblur effects appear as if the character is just waking up. And the shaking emphasizes emotion pretty well. So that sums it up. 
Hope you understood how to program and utilize these visual effects in Rain PY scripting. That's about it for now. Have a good day.